Hey guys, welcome back to Mixology. I know a lot of you wanted to know how to mix neutral colors, so yeah, we're doing nudes today. First thing we're gonna do is mix a green. Now, if you guys haven't already watched my desaturation video, then I suggest that you go do that because it's gonna explain this in a lot more detail. But essentially, I am gonna add that to a red to desaturate the color. And I'm gonna start off with just a little bit and then I'm gonna add the remainder because sometimes, until you are really comfortable with mixing colors, ratios are gonna be kind of a question mark. Then I'm gonna utilize the green that's left over just to desaturate the red a little bit. Then we're gonna add yellow to make orange. And then I'm going to add the opposite of that color, which is blue to, again, desaturate the orange, which is gonna give us a middle tone warm brown. Then finally, I'm gonna take a white and just add the last brown that we mixed to get a lighter nude. And this is gonna be the base of our nail. So this is our primary color. And in case you guys were curious as to why my setup changed, it's because I noticed I was wasting so much product so that you guys could actually see what I was doing. So I decided to try a thumb palette. It makes it a lot easier to mix the proportions that I need, which is not a lot, especially for one nail. And we're ready to start. So like I said, I'm gonna use the lighter nude as a base. I'm going to apply one coat and cure. Then I'm gonna apply a second coat. But after you apply the second coat, you wanna leave it wet. We're gonna take the medium chocolate brown. And I am using the finishing brush that I hauled recently from Age Gel. And this is gonna allow you to make a really easy wood green. Because this brush isn't solid, the bristles have space between them, it's really easy to achieve this look. So if you're a beginner, you could actually stop here and this would look absolutely fine. It does nod towards a wood grain without being literal but you guys know me i want to take it to the next level so i'm going to take some clear mixing gel from presto and i am just mixing that into the second color so that it is translucent and i'm going to build up certain areas of the nail so that they look a little darker which again is just adding more depth and also because wood grain is not consistent so it just adds to the look And as a last step, we're gonna go in with a liner brush and actually draw in more wood grain. So I am taking this long liner from Nail Girl because it's very thin. And if you guys haven't seen my how to improve your freehand skills or something like that, then I showed you guys how to load your liner brush. You really wanna work your gel into the bristles because in this look specifically, you don't need a lot of product. You actually want your brush to be a little bit, not dry, but you're kind of doing a bit of a dry brush technique. So you guys will see here that I'm dragging and I'm pushing in order to create a little bit of variation in the line where I want it. And then I even go back in with light feathering strokes to break up the line a bit because I don't necessarily want it to be super solid. Then once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and cure. Like I said, keep working with this until you're happy with it. I still wanted some variation, so I actually went into the darkest color and mixed it with a little bit of the mid-tone and the clear mixing gel and made areas of the nail even darker. Once you're happy with it, you want to cure. And then finally, we're going to add our top coat, and I'm using a matte gel. And you could go for shiny, but I think that this look is most authentic when it's matte. Because even though some wood is shiny, that just seems wrong. So all you have to do is remove the inhibition layer and we're done. You can definitely build on this look. I decided to keep it simple and not do anything extra, but feel free to add 3D. And if you do decide to recreate it, please tag me in your photos on Instagram and Twitter, which is at A Between E. And for those of you who are asking me about more henna and even Jaguar videos, that video is going to be coming on Friday. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that right now and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.